StarCraft II was announced three years ago, and a swarm of hype and interest among the RTS, a real-time strategy playing community. The announcement came on May 19, 2007, at the Blizzard Worldwide Invitational in Seoul, South Korea, and the release date has only recently been announced on May 3rd of 2010 for July 27th of 2010. So on July 27th, we get the gift of StarCraft for the first time in over 12 years. The original StarCraft, released in 1998, maintained popularity for over a decade and recognition for being one of the premier real-time strategy games that set the bar for those that came after it, uh, Command and Conquer. Games like that all based their uh, vision of their games off of StarCraft. I truly believe that in my heart of hearts. StarCraft II is set four years after the activities of StarCraft Brood War, the expansion to the original StarCraft, and features the return of a number of characters from the original series. Zeraltu, Arcturus, Mensk, Artanis, Sarah Kerrigan, Jim Raynor, they're all part of the new story. StarCraft II is developed by Activision Blizzard and goes by the name Wings of Liberty. StarCraft II features approximately the same number of units as the original game. Some of the units from the original game are returning with new upgrades and abilities, while others have been retired and replaced with better units. For the next three weeks, I will be detailing what each of the three core races, Terran, Protoss, and Zerg, have to offer on the new release. We will also give you a look at the newly available Galaxy Map Editor currently in the beta. On April 8, 2010, Blizzard officially announced that the game will be available in Standard and Collector's Edition. You can also download it directly, digitally, shortly following the release date. The Collector's Edition will come with, get this, a lot of good stuff, art book. 2 gig flash drive modeled after Jim Rayner's dog tag with the original StarCraft and Brood War expansion preloaded, behind the scenes DVD, soundtrack, comic book, and redeemable codes for downloadable content, including a unique model for the in game Thor unit and a World of Warcraft pet. This collector's edition will retail for $99 USD. If all the fancy swag doesn't seem worth it to you, the standard edition is set to retail at $59.99. StarCraft II is coming out again July 27, 2010, so please stay tuned here for more information about what is in store for you in StarCraft II. 